Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Health Forensics. I'm here to review this plant experiment. Now, it's January 2016 and this experiment has been running for a few years and we look at the plant label we can see that this one dates back to March 2013 this one is February 2013 and this one is March 2013 now back then I realized that I was having like major problems trying to get the Diphambachia to grow in my home and these are three Diphambachia plants and I discovered that if you hook them up to a battery that they would actually grow somewhat normally. Now that effect turned out to be temporary in this experiment as you can see. These are now very stressed Diphambachias. And you can see that we had the metal pot on this one hooked up to the negative of the battery and the stem structure was positive. We had the opposite over here, we had a positive pot and we had a negative stem structure. And both the battery plants grew really, really well for quite some time and it wasn't sustained. And we had the control in the middle and it says master diffuse. That diffuse is referring to the window behind it because that window is a standard clear double glazed window but it has a sheet of white plastic privacy film on it. So the light coming through that window is filtered with a white filter. So the three, the three plants are actually getting very unusual light for a plant. And I now suspect that's why we're seeing so much stress in them. The original stresses that we were using the batteries to offset was coming from radio frequency exposures. And in this location, there's a clear view out to a cell phone tower about 2,300 feet away. And that seemed to be the primary toxic exposure in this location that we were able to offset using the batteries. So it appeared that the cell phone tower had actually collapsed the natural atmospheric DC voltage. And by hooking up the plant to a one and a half volt battery enabled us to replace that missing atmospheric voltage. And it didn't seem to matter which way the polarity was because the growth exhibited was quite comparable between the two plants. And that's the way the atmospheric voltage works in the atmosphere. It is one polarity in clear blue skies and it flips to the opposite polarity when it is cloudy. So it wasn't too surprising to find that the polarity of the battery did not matter. So this was our control. You can see the control is almost dead. And I put that down to this white opaque window film. I think it's had quite a profound effect and has affected the ability of the plant to survive long term because we see the same effect in the plants with the batteries and even this one that is actually putting up growth it's tiny it's just not very healthy at all and I actually think that what we're seeing right now is a problem with the location that I chose to run this experiment in. So something to be aware of if you're doing these plant experiments, be aware of the type of window that you're placing it next to because unless it's a crystal clear window, then a window like this that's white is going to have a profound effect on the experiment. So that was growing plants with batteries next to a white opaque double glazed window. I hope you enjoyed the presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.